Alright, this is the mini food forest. All the bananas got hit. The beauty berries did really good. We covered the dragon fruit. Um, they did great. We covered the coffee plant in the back. The Toro took a hit. But it looks like this is the miracle fruit. We had that wrap. That's a lychee, I think. And then some other potato vine Donald had. We had that wrapped. We had the Jacoba Coppa wrapped. Our papaya tree took a hit. And there is a papaya there. The ones up top seem to have frozen. I don't know if that's going to be any good. I'm going to have to come around. But I'm leaving the, uh, there's Donald's voodoo plant. There's the Torah. But, um, let's see if I can get into here. Take a look at that. Actually, it's still hanging on. All right, I'm going to leave it. I mean, I know the papaya probably took a big hit. And I'll dump the water. That's why the uh, pools are close to this area because I can easily dump the water. So, what? <laughs> what? But, yep, that's the mini food forest area after I've unwrapped it. This is uh, near the front of our house. We have more banana trees. I forgot to cut down my fire bush. Technically, you're supposed to cut it down before the first freeze or frost. So this weekend, I will be cutting that down to the ground, covering it. But it that there is our Mexican sunflower. <laughs> it looks like the lemongrass held up pretty good. This is our ever or our mulberry. Top took a heat, uh, a beaten, but it looks like the bottom's good. The oregano was covered. That took a hit, even though it was covered up. Um, bananas. Loquat did fine. Um, all the potato vines took a major, major hit. We gotta clean this up. This had potato vines and Mexican sunflowers and blackberry bush. Blackberry bush looks like it did great. Um, there were a couple of berries on it, but I think they got, fro yep, look. Frozen berry. Um, everything over here seemed to do pretty good. My bay leaf did, was a champ. No problems there. Um, looks like this mulberry took a, a hit. Um, we covered the, uh, what is this, uh, curry leaf. It looks like the top of it got a little frost bit, but the rest of it did great. Um, figs. Uh, there's the other, another mulberry. My jasmine did great. And then, now I just gotta uncover the well and the pipes, so I'm gonna do that next. All right, coming upon the shed side of things. Yeah, they ain't looking good. Prickly pear survived though. And then, looks like, oh, well, that's pretty amazing. This is my, Try not to get it in the sun here. <laughs> hey guys. This is my elderberry tree, one of them. That survived pretty good. Loquat in the back. That's an olive tree. Looks like the olive tree did great. Um, yeah. Hi guys, you picking for buggies? You get those buggies. Um. Cassava obviously took a hit, but cassava is a root crop, so we can harvest that later. 
Uh, another prickly pear. Looks like the sugar cane did really well too. Uh, lemon, no, lemon tree, lime tree. They did well. That's pretty good. Um, we did have, we took down this banana rack. It was ready. It's in our house now. And several of these guys are actually, the uh, banana trees look like they're going to produce another rack. Um, this is the old duck pen that we have to come down, but I'm thinking this one might have a rack soon. But it's a little bit safe for me to come back here. I'm not ate up by mosquitoes. And here's the papaya tree. It fell down. And this one too has two papayas on it. So I think we're just gonna leave it and let's see if it recovers. If it does, great. If not, no big deal. This was a beauty berry that took a pretty good hit. Oh, I hear chickens. You guys can't come in here. It's not safe. But all in all, looks pretty decent in here. All right, next stop to uncover is the pineapple row, so I'm gonna go over there next. I'm in the uh, greenhouse area. Looks like the mangoes didn't even phase the mangoes. That's amazing. Um, sour stop definitely took a hit. And then I believe this is a some type of cit two citrus type trees. Here's that loquat, and look at the loquats. Aw, I can't wait to eat these. Looks like, yeah, these bananas took a hit. All the bananas did. But yeah, the mango, the two mango trees, or three mango trees, seem to do really well. This was a pigeon pea. It was started to flower. So that looks like it's gone. This was my cotton. Oh, look, I got one cotton bloom. Look at that. Oh, ain't that pretty? I'm definitely keeping that as soon as I can figure out how to get it off. I got, I don't have any scissors with me. Um, yeah, the moringas took a hit. Okay, this is what I mean by the racks when they're not ready, we just can't do anything about them but see how black they are so we'll be cutting down that tree or banana tree there's a couple of them in here like that this is our banana area now um and uh i know there's at least four or five racks that we could not harvest because they weren't ready and uh Yeah, so I'm hoping things will bounce back. Normally bananas are really good at bouncing back, so. All right, I gotta finish uncovering a pipe over here and then I'm gonna show you our ugly tree, or our greenhouse. All right, this is our mound area. Got everything uncovered. I gotta still do our ugly greenhouse. Um, it looks like Oregano, sage, survived, rosemary, maybe. This I think is going to be broccoli. Um, on the second hard hit of the season, or the second hit of, or the second night we had the hard freeze, this was completely wilted in the morning. So, um, these pepper plants we couldn't carry in, so we let them go. Um, looks like basil took a hit. Looks like dill, because this is all little dills. They survived. This is, I found out this is arugula. <laughs> I did not know what it was. This is our first time growing it. Um, it was a mystery pack. Looks like about ready to go to bolt, but I did harvest some of it before the freeze looks like it did great 
our Okinawa spinach took a massive hit. I did have, at the last minute, I found two amaranth that came up. They're gone. Um, here's the other side of the uh, banana row. Oh, well, these this rack doesn't look black. This may have survived. Holy cow. Well, it looks like the tops are, but the bottom layers don't look bad. We'll see in the next couple of days how that survives. Um, and then over here, I have two leftover white radishes. Looks like they survived. I'll probably be able to harvest them soon. And then this is the ugly greenhouse. <laughs> we use the swing set to try and keep this together. Looks like some of the bricks came out from the wind. So I'll have to address this area. But this was a quick let's get something put up at the last minute. And that's what we did. We used ladders to hold down, buffer the wind a little bit because the wind goes this away. Now, the downside is, is that this side, we had to put on a second piece. So we're hoping that what was inside didn't get um, hit too bad with the, uh, with the frost. But we put a sunshade over the top so that way the, it doesn't rip. We added extra support beams and then bricks around the tarp area. So I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up. And I got the hose on so I can water whatever is in there. And I'll show you. Woo! It is hot in there and humid. It's nice. Um, we gathered what we could for the pepper plants. Um, looks like they did okay. And then back here we have our cuttings for cranberry hibiscus, a lemon tree. Oh, look at my leaf of life. I got a new thing called a uh, leaf of life. It's supposed to be a medicinal. Some more cranberry hibiscus. This is a special mulberry that's mint back there. So, looks like, other than being a little dried out, everything looks good. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff watered. But, all in all, not bad. So, guys, that's pretty much it for what happened for the Arctic Blast of Christmas 2022. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. But I hope everybody that got cold, you stayed warm, your animals were safe, your, your plants did better than probably a lot of other people. So just keep trucking along. That's all you can do. But hopefully here I'm going to be able to show you my seed haul because I did order seeds from MI Gardener and Baker Creek. And those I'm going to definitely show you guys. So, all right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.